Good evening, guys. Yeah, we're told that that staff member was marched out of Bright Horizons in Naperville right behind me at the end of June. And parents we spoke with today say they had no idea it even happened until they stumbled upon a news article. We're trusting them with our children. Erden Howell and his wife Laura speaking exclusively today with WGN about an incident that happened at their children's former daycare. I would say that it was um, an institution that we uh, deeply trusted. It was one that valued open and honest communication. They pulled their son and daughter from the centre after learning yesterday that a staff member was arrested on site about six weeks ago, something they say parents were still in the dark about. The, the date was a slap in the face. I, I think it was a, a definite, just jaw-dropping moment for you when she said, what and what's going on and the date. We realized it would have been six weeks and there had been no communication of mentioning this man except the fact that he unfortunately left and yeah. due to personal reasons. That day was June 30th when 35-year-old James Wood of Darien was marched out of here by authorities. He, we're told, was immediately fired after being on the job less than three weeks. I read that the arrest occurred on site. I looked at the calendar and both of our young children were at the centre that day. Authorities say he held graphic conversations on social media and exposed himself to someone he believed to be a Lake County girl around 14 or 15 years old. He also allegedly requested nude photos of her and was planning to travel for a meetup. That teenager, though, turned out to be undercover detectives. We paid a visit to Woods' home today. Hi James, this is Brona with WGN. And we weren't able to meet him, but Laura says she certainly did during his brief employment. I did meet this guy. Um, very, I would call him bombastic in personality. And while the Howells don't doubt procedure was followed in the hiring process... I, I have no reason to distrust that Bright Horizons did not go through proper screening processes. They're upset about how things have been handled since then. And alongside a desire for increased child protection over company profits, they want someone to take real accountability. They decided strategically, tactically, willingly and flat out to just brush it under the rug and they decided that it wasn't anything that we needed to know. Somebody needs to resign. Their leadership with Bright Horizons have been meeting via Zoom today with parents and in a letter to parents, they've also said in part, we made a decision not to share this information with families as law enforcement was clear that the situation was not related to young children and not related to the centre. In hindsight, not sharing this information sooner was a grave mistake and we apologise. Now, Wood has also worked as a camp counsellor and as a substitute teacher in Darien. He is facing three counts of grooming following that undercover operation by Lake County authorities. All of those are class four felonies. He appeared in court this morning and pled not guilty. His next court date is later this month. We're live in Naperville, Bruna Tumulty, WGN News. Thanks, Bruna.